ready for the funny part? Yeah. Three, four, seventeen. One, two. Oh my God! Look out! Four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. But I promise you this I'll always look out The purpose of the activity was for the group to complete one task successfully as a unit. The task was to lean back on a rope for seven seconds. If every member of the group is able to trust their team members, then the whole group will be supported. The purpose of this activity was to work cooperatively as a team to get a ball from the start line into a bucket 30 meters away. Students will use half tubes to guide the ball along the distance. There are four rules to this activity. The ball cannot touch the ground, the ball cannot roll backwards relative to the ground, everyone must be included, and no hands may touch the ball. The game focuses on the importance of communication, both verbal and auditory, as well as cooperation to successfully devise a strategy that will create the most success. We live in a complex world which we simplify in order to master it. We partake in learning not because we want to find a simple solution, instead we engage to adapt the complexity. I like this idea because I'm not teaching people how to play games, that sort of highlights to me how to play games. Brian and I are partners, Brian's going to try and give me a high five whenever you pass, okay? It's really hard. Keep your hand up so you always pass. In this activity, trust was important to ensure safety of students inside the tube. This activity emphasized complexity theory through a decentralized control, no defined leader, and everyone inside the circle being engaged equally. There are three forms of communication, verbal and nonverbal, listening and understanding. As a teacher, checking for a student's understanding allows us to see which knowledge they have retained and which information may need to be emphasized again to maximize their awareness. Be 
Just my eyes. 